the main things we wanted in that was a process, a standard optimizing the recovery process, the results, of course, increasing our, our recoveries, and then the experience needed to fight with those insurance adjusters. And there we got that with CMR. The culture incentivized stakeholders for that improvement. When we had that conversation with GDOT, and again, we can kind of put this in the, a, a similar bucket to when we talked to other states. These four issues are sort of the deficit areas. Um, you can rationalize in each, but at the end of the day, when was the last time meaningful resources were invested in the damage claim recovery process. You know, one of our good examples, we were in a state, one of those where there were divisions and divisions within and so forth. And the example was they had a system that collected this information. Before they referred it over to the financial department for final sort of approval on the bill, they would attach a PDF of information out of the system. They always want this attachment of the PDF, so I make an email, I put this out, print it into a PDF, and then I send it up to them. I'm not sure why they want it, but they always have told us we need to do that. We go down the row, the hall, it's at a different floor, give them fairness. We go to the different floor, and we say, what do you do with this PDF? I don't know why they send it to us, we delete it first thing when they send it. All the information's in the system. So this notion of standardizing a process can make a difference. And it's the same principle that happens in everything. It's no different in these business processes. We're just in the business of finding them. So that's, that's thing one. The results, when you don't measure, you don't know what the results are. Again, you could, what you're comparing to has everything to do with whether or not you should feel comfortable or not so comfortable with your results. And we were able to give them a benchmark and that was sort of a meaningful piece to that as well. This experience notion is a big one. It goes with culture. You know, there's no question, we say this all the time, there's no question any DOT in here could de decide to be the best damage claim recovery operation in the world. You got multi-billion dollar budgets, you could. If some leader one day said, that's what we're gonna be the best at, you could. Obviously, it's not your thing. Why would you put your money there? Well, so the idea of saying we got a workload requiring three additional adjusters is great, but boy, they're in a sea, a big, big, big sea of people who do a lot of different things. And again, resources become very difficult to compete for. And then ultra, uh, the culture thing is a big one too. When you're in this business, you incentivize people accordingly. So we get a piece of the action. To some that sounds a little, um, what? Not so healthy or sometimes it might say a little off color. But the fact of the matter is, we've brought them millions of dollars because we're incentivized to do it. No different than you guys paid a bunch of dough for that bridge getting fixed a hell of a lot faster than it would have gotten fixed otherwise. And we find these buckets of claims because of that culture. And so that again is a very important part of how this all went down. And the fact is, the state institutions cannot put a variable compensation plan in place easily, conveniently, quickly to make a difference on this kind of stuff. It just doesn't matter, it's so small. So anyway, that has been a big part too. And so Georgia faced a kind of a fork in the road, an obstacle, a, a way to say, let's stop and take a look and kind of think about where we, where we should go and how should we handle this. Give us a call or check us out at cmrclaims.com.